Friends and family, you may be seated. Dear friends and family, we have come together in God's presence to witness the marriage of Audrey Lee Bailey and Caleb Marcus Offer, to surround them with our prayers and to share in their joy. Let us enter the celebration with confidence that through the Holy Spirit, Christ is indeed present with us, blessing this occasion. We also celebrate the presence of all of you, family and friends whom Audrey and Caleb share this day with. Your love, your support, and friendship has been a great and wonderful blessing to them. Audrey and Caleb, Christ calls you into union with him and with one another. I ask you now in the presence of God in this congregation to declare your intent. Audrey, will you indeed have this man, Caleb, to be your husband, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love him, honor him, comfort him, keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Amen. And Caleb, will you have this woman, Audrey, to be your wife, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love her and comfort her honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Amen. Love between two people can be strong, strong enough to endure much, but the love between two people is very much interconnected with many other relationships beyond the two. The ability to grow in love as a couple is often dependent upon the support and nurturance of those who mean so much to the couple, it can make all the difference in the world as to how well they succeed in marriage. Audrey and Caleb need to count on all of us as family and friends to be the best support that we can be at this wondrous threshold of their lives. Our love for the both of them in many ways helps them to replenish their own ability to love. Caleb and Audrey marry this day in the midst and the affection and friendship of all of us, but most especially in the presence of those whose love has been a constant source of companionship to them, their families. And so we ask their immediate families now for the blessings on, the mar on their marriage. And so if the families of both Audrey and Caleb do so indeed, give their blessing and promise their support in this union, would members of their immediate families Please rise, parents and siblings, please rise and respond with the words we do. We do. Amen. You may be seated. Audrey and Caleb selected this scripture passage from the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 7. The Apostle Paul's very eloquent words on love. He wrote, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful, it is not arrogant or rude, Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask that you please bless Caleb and Audrey, who come now to join in marriage. Please enable them to speak and to live out their vows to one another in the strength and in the spirit of your love for them. Help us to know that you celebrate and bless this marriage as much as we, and that you will travel with them in this journey of life, that they walk together as a couple, as partners for life. Grant them wisdom and devotion in their lives, O Lord, that each of them may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in confusion, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. And together, may Audrey and Caleb as a couple bear much light and love in the world in your name. 
Amen. Amen. Audrey and Caleb, it is now time for you to speak your vows to one another. Uh, Caleb, please repeat these words to Audrey. I, Caleb, take you, Audrey. I, Caleb, take you, Audrey. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And Audrey, would you please repeat these words to Caleb? I, Audrey, take you, Caleb. I, Audrey, take you, Caleb. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. Amen. <laughs> Caleb and Audrey, what symbols do you now exchange as an outward sign of your love for one another? You have rings? You do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb and Audrey, these rings that you give to one another, they are, they are an outward and visible sign of your love for one another. They are made of very precious metal, and so let your love be the most precious possession of your hearts. Each of these rings is a circle unbroken, and so let your love for one another be unbroken throughout your earthly lives. Let us pray. O oh Lord, bless the giving of these rings that they, Caleb and Audrey, who wear them, may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Caleb, <clears throat> please repeat these words to Audrey. Audrey, I give you this ring. Audrey, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. And Audrey, please repeat these words to Caleb. Caleb, I give you this ring. Caleb, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. Audrey and Caleb, you have declared your consent and vows before God and this gathering of family and friends. May God confirm your promise to each other so that love may abound in the home that you established together. Go forth to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger, they will find in you very generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you and with us all this day and always. Amen. Amen. Now that Caleb and Audrey have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands, and the giving of rings by the authority vested in me, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. <laughs> Audrey and Caleb, now that you are joined in holy marriage, you may seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Okay. All right, friends and family, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Offer. <laughs>
introduce our bridal party. Ladies and gentlemen, our first couple, put your hands together for Sotara Spiritus and Camille Bittarani. Next, please welcome Sandra Marino, Mark Fredrickson, and Crystal Christman. <laughs> Our maid of honor, best man, please welcome Nancy Tran and Matt Imwall.
Ladies out of 10, I know what you guys think. Congratulations. Thank you. And now you're not a free man anymore. 
<laughs> More laughs than the last one. That's good. Um, you know, these two asked me to not really say anything too risque or use any windows or anything coming to the class again. Um, so one word comes to my mind. Horology. Yeah, this, you know, a watch enthusiast. Um, I learned about that when I went shopping with Caleb for watches. And uh, Audrey actually confirmed it, and they had no clue what it meant, so I had to Google it. So there's your word. Good word, right? Why do you repeat it for the people? Horology. Is that right? That's right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you are. Yeah. Hey, so, as speech is not about me, it's about these two, obviously, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, Audrey, would you put your hand on the table, like palm down? Caleb, hand on top. On top, hand, Caleb, hand on top. Yeah, this is the last time you have an upper hand in this relationship. Yeah. 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 I'm done. Hey, everybody, raise your toes. There you go. Caleb, Rock. Short, sweet, and funny. Everybody, let's hear it for the best man, Mr. Matt M. Wall. And now for our maid of honor, please welcome Ms. Nancy Tran, everyone. What size does she wear? Can she secretly can you secretly take pictures when I propose in the next two hours? <laughs> um, it's safe to say that I'm heavily invested in this union. Audrey and I met on Memorial Day of 2015, and I swear that was the day I knew I met my soulmate. <laughs> we partied, we traveled, and we had many unforgettable and fun moments, which I will not share here today. <laughs> Let's just say that we lived life to the fullest. But despite of all the amazing trips and laughters, that we always there was always that missing piece. Um, that was until Audrey met Caleb. I was skeptical, but we decided to give him a shot. And man, are we glad we did. See how I said we? Okay. Caleb had no idea that when he met Audrey, she was already married to me and it's a package deal. I knew that from the very moment that they posted their first Instagram official photo in their matching wallpaper outfits, Audrey found her missing little, not so little, piece. You know how the saying goes, the universe always has a plan for everyone. As I stand here as Audrey's maid of honor, I can truly say that I can truly say that saying is true when it comes to our friendship. The universe brought us together because it knew that she and I needed each other. We needed each other for moral support, to show each other what genuine, unconditional love is, and of course, honesty. We kept each other accountable, and with that being said, I can't think of a better person to pass the torch to other than Caleb. I trust that Caleb will be able to keep her hands warm when she's cold, because if you know Audrey, she's always freezing. Yeah. <laughs> you can talk Audrey off of a ledge when she's being a little bit irrational. Be patient with her when she decides to cry over coffee on a Wednesday morning, or tell her she's a trash panda when she eats extra large chocolate chip cookies for breakfast. And I'm totally judging the two of you guys for that right now. If you guys don't know, tendency ha uh, Caleb has a tendency to order these like extra large cookies. They're like seven pounds. <laughs> um, but for real, please join me in wishing the new couple the best in love because I believe we all agree that there isn't any other two people in the world that are more perfect for each other. Congratulations. <laughs> A 
One more time for Audrey's first husband, everybody, Miss Nancy Turner. <laughs> Next, we have, last but not least, Sitaris. Paris. Sitaris. Okay, I'll, I won't mess that up the rest of the night. Story of my life. <laughs> okay, I, I put some notes in the phone because I love everyone in the room and I want to filter myself. <laughs> this is for you. You're welcome. Um, Audrey has a way of making everybody feel like they're her best friend. I'm her best friend. Get a, get a look at it. I got the microphone. I win. Okay. Just had to do that. And it's just because she has a way of making everyone feel extremely special. And she's really good like at serious conversations, but equally good at like stupid conversations. And really, really, really skilled in shenanigans. Yes. So, how do you not feel special around someone like that? Caleb told me I had to keep it short, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay true to my word. We're all just really excited that Audrey found someone that makes her feel as special as she makes us feel. Yeah. Welcome to our family, Caleb. And we are all about to be really crazy, so come on, let's raise the <laughs> Cheers to Caleb and to Audrey. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Can we hear it for uh, Audrey's self-proclaimed best friend, everybody? Sitaris. <laughs> if you can. Get back so that they're even. Oh, yeah. So we put. You better get out here. Hey, Abel. Abel, come over here. And light behind us. Ladies! 
Ladies, are you ready? Like Make some noise! Ready?